Hey guys, welcome back to History Facts. In this video we are discussing the crazy life of Roman Emperor Commodus. Have a good time. You likely know the name Commodus as the bad guy from Gladiator, the best picture winner from 2000. Played as a pervy psychotic by Joaquin Phoenix, Emperor Commodus is portrayed as a man with insecurities motivating his actions. And while that may be an accurate, historical understanding of the Emperor's persona, there's a lot more to Commodus' biography than the made-up bit starring Russell Crowe. Who was Commodus? Believe it or not, the movie version of the Roman Emperor was actually whitewashed to cover up his degenerative insanity. Born into a world that prepared him to be a ruler, Commodus grew up believing some pretty fantastic things about himself. Sure, Commodus fought in the arena with ancient Roman gladiators, but that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the atrocities Commodus inflicted on the people around him. If you were fascinated by the profoundly creepy emperor in Gladiator, you haven't seen anything yet, watch to the end to discover insane tales about Commodus. Commodus was obsessed with orgies. If you thought Caligula's sex stories were crazy, wait until you hear about Commodus. Just check out this description from the History Augusta, Commodus lived, rioting in the palace amid banquets and in baths along with 300 concubines, gathered together for their beauty and chosen from both matrons and harlots, and with minions, also 300 in number, whom he had collected by force and by purchase indiscriminately from the common people and the nobles solely on the basis of bodily beauty. For those unfamiliar with ancient Roman lingo, that passage roughly translates to, Commodus spent his days gathering, through acquisition or force, an army of sex slaves composed of 300 women and 300 boys. In fact, massive, prolonged orgies were only the beginning of Commodus' sexual depravity. The Royal Perception of Commodus, the Man Historical accounts of Commodus call him a physically attractive young man with thick, curly blonde hair. Unfortunately, that physical beauty didn't extend below the surface. Not only did the young man have a reputation for being easily persuaded by those around him, but he was also known to possess an ineffable weakness of character that put people off. Even worse, he was prone to unpredictable flights of excessive cruelty and strange behavior. Though this behavior was kept somewhat restrained while Marcus Aurelius was alive, there were some who whispered that Commodus just might end up as another Nero. Commodus named one of his concubines after his mother and may have raped his sisters. Commodus ordered the death of his sister, Lucilla, when he found out that she had been plotting to kill him. He then proceeded to rape the rest of his remaining sisters and name one of his concubines after his mother. In an excerpt from the Historia Augusta, after debauching his other sisters, as it is said, he formed, a sexual relationship, with a cousin of his father, and even gave the name of his mother to one of his concubines. His wife, whom he caught in adultery, he drove from his house, then banished her, and later put her to death. By his orders his concubines were debauched before his own eyes. Commodus was choked to death by his fitness coach. After a fire burned large portions of Rome in 191 AD, Commodus chose to rebuild the city, renaming it Colonia Lucia Aenea Commodiana. The citizens of the world's greatest city would be known as Commodiani. When the emperor decided to celebrate the city's rebirth on New Year's Day in 193 AD, a cabal of high-ranking officials decided enough was enough. His mistress, Marcia, his chamberlain, and his highest-ranking Praetorian guard attempted to poison him with a glass of wine. Unfortunately, the wine failed, so Commodus fitness trainer, a professional wrestler named Narcissus, charged into the bathroom and choked the emperor out. After his death, several people wanted Commodus' body dragged through the streets, but some saintly person decided that his body should be simply laid to rest. Thanks for watching. Do like, subscribe and comment.